Hello everyone, it's Tony, and if you have been watching my last few videos, you'll know that I'm on a mission to make my whole fall bouquet out of all coffee filter flowers. Well today I want to show you a quick and simple method of making these beautiful and realistic peonies. To make these flowers, I'll be using white and natural coffee filters, watercolor paint in tubes, and to save a little time on this, I picked up a bunch of stems with leaves for 97 cents at Walmart. The peonies I'm making are about mid-bloom, and I want to be able to see the center. So I'm going to make the center piece first. I'm going to use one natural color coffee filter and fold that in half. Then I'm gonna fold that in half again and cut that in half. I only need one half of this sheet for the center of one flower. Next I'm gonna cut little slits at the top of the sheet about an inch long and then I'm just gonna roll that around on itself. Put a little hot glue on that to hold it together then twist it. So I'm gonna make a couple of these and set them aside. And now to make my petals, I'm using white coffee filters. I'm going to take four of these filters. I'm going to fold the four filters in half, and then I'm going to fold them in half again. And as I'm folding these, I'm cutting along the folds about halfway down. And this is just to make sure each of my petals will be separated. And then I'm gonna fold that one more time. Cut along the fold. And now I'm gonna draw a petal shape. The peony's petal has lots of different shapes. Uh, right now I'm just gonna draw something that looks a little bit like a heart. And now I'm gonna cut that shape out. And next I'm gonna open that up until it's halfway folded. And as you can see, right in the middle, my petals look like they're connected. So I'm gonna cut down to add more separation between my petals. And that's the main reason I cut along the folds. Now the peony flower petals grow sort of turned inward. So while I have my petals all lined up together, I'm gonna use this pencil and just roll the petals and hold it there for Few seconds and this will help give the petals a more rounded natural look. Now I'm going to open this up and carefully separate each sheet and rotate the petals so that the petals don't line up. And now I'm going to fold those back in half and I'm going to take one of my center pieces and place that down near the edge, about halfway down into the petals. I'm putting a little hot glue on the bottom of that piece and on the sides, and then I'm gonna roll the petals around that part of it uh, pretty close. The rest of it I roll loosely around the centerpiece and put a little hot glue around the edge to connect it. Now starting at the bottom of the flower, I'm going to go around and open up each petal from the outside to the inside. And I may go back and curl some of the petals upward with my pencil. Like I mentioned, to save time with this, I picked up a bushel of stems with leaves and I'm gonna attach a stem to the bottom of these flowers. So I'm just gonna cut off one of the stems. I'm gonna take the bottom of the flower and twist it really tight and then cut the bottom part of the flower off. Put a little hot glue right in the center of the bottom. 
and each stem has two leaves right at the top. I'm going to put the flower right in the center of those two leaves and hold it there for about 20 seconds. I'm also going to put a little drop on the bottom of the two leaves and attach that to the flower. And there, now you have a quick, simple way to make beautiful, realistic white peonies. So now I'm going to show you how I made my colored flowers. And I'm using watercolors for this. I'm going to start with the center pieces. And most of the time the uh, flower pistols are yellow. Sometimes yeah, I can see green in the center, but uh, let's start with yellow. Just going to add a little water to my brush and basically just coat the tips of the pieces with yellow paint. Now this will always dry light, lighter than it goes on, so I want to put a good bit of paint on all the little pieces. Now for my petals, I want to make some peachy yellow flowers. I'm going to put down some red and mix red and yellow and make a, a nice um, peachy orange color. That will grade it to almost a, a bright yellow. So the best thing to do is to soak the whole paper with a big brush with water and then start putting down your paint. I'm using lots of water on the paper and painting the lighter yellow color at the top and then towards the center more red orange and you're going to put paint on both sides so that the colors will soak through all the sheets afterwards i'm placing those on a cookie sheet to dry now i'm going to add some blue to my palette and do a purple violet color flower if you want to add just a subtle hint of color a quick way to paint your flowers is just to brush on a little paint after you finish your white flowers. Just make sure the paint is completely blended on your paintbrush and just sort of brush the color around the edges of the flower. And you can add a little more color around the center of the flower. Now I'm just gonna set that aside to dry and we'll come back to it to see what it looks like after it dries. Now I let my painted petals dry in the oven at 350 for about 10-15 minutes and this is what they look like when they come out. So now I'm going to use my pencil and roll the tips of the petals to give it a more natural curved shape. So I'm going to use the same process I did with the white flowers, separate and rotate the petals then fold it back. Then I'm going to roll my colored petals around my colored center and hot glue the end of that together. Fold my petals down and assemble my flower. So this is the purple flower that I painted, the petals that I painted and put in the oven. I, I did a light color on this but this is what it looks like compared to the one that I brushed the color on. You can see it's very subtle. The one that I brushed the color on is, is mostly white with some purple uh, highlights, but the colors are pretty close. The one that I actually painted the petals and put in the oven has a little more dimension. So if you want just subtle color, you could get away by just brushing some color on. It'll be a whole lot quicker. And again, here are the peach and the purple together. So I really do like that peachy yellow color. So I think I'm going to make a, a few that are that color and some yellow for my fall bouquet. I also painted a couple of pieces green for the center and uh, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it goes in. This is what it looks like wet. And 
And after I assembled those pieces, this is what the yellow with the green center looks like. And ooh, that's really pretty, I love that. And this is the peachy yellow with green. I love these colors together. So I have roses, hydrangeas, sunflowers, and now beautiful peonies. All I need are some fillers and I will have the best fall bouquet ever. I can't wait to put it all together. Now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint and eight shimmering colors available now at Amazon.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your Hustle Home and Your Hustle Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.